you know, the other thing about that I remember about Shuichi was, you know, I would ask him uh, about like anime and manga stuff. And mm. at the time, I, I really, I didn't really like anime or manga that much. Mm, like I just right. didn't really care. Um, but I had friends in art school that were into it. And again, this is like the Japanimation oh, days. This is like late nineties. Nineties, yeah. You know, so like the, the your your uh, your access to anime and manga was super limited. limited if we're yeah. talking manga, Ghost in the Shell, Akira, mm. uh, Ninja Scroll. Ninja Scroll. And like, you know, those who knew their stuff that had old VHSs, you know, they'd have like Fist of the North Star. Oh. You know, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Dragon Ball. But again, Dragon Ball wasn't as popular as it became once it was on, I guess, was it on Toonami or whatever, like on Adult mm. Swim, Cartoon Network. That's when like it, it got popularized later, but like I guess it's like qualifies as late nineties. Um, or early two thousands. But but anyway, I would show him stuff and you know, I'm like, is this is this like anime? I would do like my version of what I thought it was. And he's like, no, no. And I'm like, what's the difference? Mm. And he's like, uh, mm. and he would think about it. You know, he wasn't an artist. He's like, oh, mm. he would always say like, oh, I, I find it fascinating. You know, like you, you, how you can draw, you know, he's like, I can't do a stick figure. Mm. Uh, he would draw Doraemon. <laughs> That's like uh, what most people can draw. Like yeah. Every Japanese person knows how to draw like Doraemon <laughs> or Chibimaru yeah. Kochang. Yeah. And, you know, simple shit like that. Right. So, uh, I mean, that's another, that's a, a sign of a, of a, a character, uh, you know, that can be popular in Japan is if people, if kids can oh, replicate yeah, it, yeah, if people yeah. can, mm. that's an important thing, you know. Man. Uh, man, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, he would, he would draw that and he would look at my stuff. He's like, oh, he's like, I, the eyes is different. And I'm like, what mm. if he's just uh, not Japanese eyes different? And I'm like, oh, okay, you know. Um, and I remember I borrowed a, a Capcom book from a buddy, mm. uh, one of my buddies, shout out to Francis. And, uh, and I was showing it to him cause it like, I know I bring it up over and over again. Uh, at this point I got to say, like, it, it's kind of like the go-to for everybody is like the Capcom stuff to the mm. point where now, like I used to love it, but now I'm so tired of it. But that being said, it was 1996 when I was looking at that, and that was like the hottest shit ever. You couldn't, you couldn't see it anywhere. Oh, like it, it's, it's, yeah, the yeah. golden light came out of it, dude. I was just oh. like, oh. and uh, <clears throat> and then, you know, there were like these awesome. The one thing I liked about the Capcom art was that their anatomy was on point. You know, mm -hmm. so like the musculature mm -hmm. of the characters mm -hmm. is different depending on what kind of fighting style they have. Mm -hmm. What you know everything whether they're a man or a woman mm. like you know the the regions of the world they're from like they would just study and they'd be like okay mm. people from this part of the world have these features mm. and have a predominantly this type of body type and all right. these things that went into it where i was used to you know looking at like american comic books or european comic books and for the most part everybody kind of has the same build things mm. are different now mm. for obvious reasons because yeah. now you know we got the internet and people have you know consume you know stuff from everywhere so you kind of have a better idea of like what can mm. be done but back then you know every superhero was just yeah same body build just right. same face different yeah. hair different yeah. mask different thing with the women yes yeah, different <laughs> spandex different paint on the body right yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much it so when i saw this book i'm like wow like this guy really looks like he's from india or like this guy mm. looks like he's from japan mm. And it had all these little notes in Japanese. Yeah, oh, and all yeah. the sketches and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, ah, what does this mean? Mm. I'm like, and I was like, I know, man, if I could read this, mm. if I could read this, like I'd be way better artist. Like I'd mm. be able to draw like these mm. people. And, uh, and so I would take the Mashuichi because that's the only person I knew mm. that could decipher these hieroglyphics <laughs> of this, this like art of the like, Capcom, dude. Google and Translate so, like, before Google Translate. Oh, yeah. Shuichi yeah. Translate. <laughs> yeah. Poor Shuichi. Shuichi, thank you. Thank you so much. So like he would go, he'd look at it. He's like, oh, he's like, oh, OK. He's like, oh, that's interesting. And so, you know, he'd say, oh, you know, like, this this type of fighter relies on his upper body strength mm. so his deltoids mm. and his triceps and you know all these muscles are more developed than this other you know fighter that mainly kicks so the, the legs are developed and whatever you know so I, I you know i just felt like wow i couldn't get this information anywhere else which i couldn't at that time mm.